Hi, boys and girls. Do you remember the stories Haunted House, Haunted Mouse, and One is a Feast for Mouse? Well, this story is written by the same author, and I think that you will enjoy this story too. This is called Snow Day for Mouse by Judy Cox, illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. Mouse woke up on a chilly morning. He peeked outside. What an icy, lacy, snowflakey day. Three birds huddled together on the telephone wire. Poor little quivery, shivery birds. But inside, Mouse was warm and dry. No worries for Mouse. Down in the kitchen, Mom turned on the radio. Cat rubbed against her legs. Dad went outside to shovel the walk. Snow day, called Mom. No school. Hooray, yelled the kids. Let's bake cookies. They mixed and baked and frosted and decorated. Then the kids bundled up in their snowsuits and raced outside. One fat round gumdrop rolled off the table and bounced higgledy piggledy into the corner. A treat for Mouse. Mouse crept across the floor. One step, two steps, silent Mouse. He didn't see Cat patting and prowling, greeny-eyed and greedy. Mouse bent to scoop up his prize. Cat crouched. Uh-oh, this reminds me of one is a feast for Mouse. Dad came stomping snow from his boots. Not in my clean house, said Mom. She grabbed the broom. Snow clumps, cat, the gumdrop, and mouse whirled out the door. Thump! Mouse landed in a snowdrift. When he climbed out, what a sight met his eyes. Heaps of snow like mounds of mashed potatoes. Flakes of snow like powdered sugar. Yum. The chili birds fluffed up their feathers and chirped. Hello, birds. Have you seen my gumdrop? The birds shook their heads. Mouse looked around. He saw a frozen puddle. An ice rink for Mouse. On tippy toes, he waltzed across, skating figure eights and bowing to the friendly birds. He didn't see Cat, ears flattened and tail twitching, hiding behind the bare rose bushes. But he did see a mouse-sized hill, perfect for sledding. He slid down on a curled leaf toboggan, faster and faster picking up speed until he landed in a heap at the bottom. He didn't see Cat, head down and tail up, ready to pounce. The little birds cheeped. Watch out, Mouse, run! Plop! A dollop of snow from the telephone wire dropped on Cat's head. Cat twitched his ears and stalked away, flicking the snow from his paws. The birds cheered, all clear. Mouse crept out of the downspout. He rolled snowballs. He made three fat snowbirds and a snow mouse with a berry for a nose. The birds on the wire bobbed their heads. Now, Mouse was cold. His paws were chilly, tummy empty. Time for something sweet or crunchy. Where had that yummy gumdrop gone? Hot chocolate, called Mom. In ran the kids, all snowsuited, heavy booted. Mouse scampered between their feet, undetected, unsuspected. The kitchen smelled cinnamon spicy. Mouse snacked on crumbs. Soon, he was warm and not so icy. 
but he remembered the quivery, shivery, hungry birds. The next time the door opened, Mouse was ready. Out in the backyard, Mouse sprinkled his crumbs on the snow. Sharing, caring. Hungry birds, come get your treat. A gift for my new friends. The snow turned pink in the sunset light. The birds chirped their thank yous. No gumdrop for Mouse, but something better. A warm and toasty feeling deep inside. Happy Mouse. I hope you liked this story about Mouse. I enjoyed it just like I enjoy the other ones.